in the past few years, we have witnessed the great success of artificial intelligence. Deep neural network nowadays can drive a car, recognize the images, and even help you guys to make scientific discoveries. That's great. In the deep neural network, they can mimic our sensory information process. The basic thing, you know, they can do, or even do much better than us. But it's fundamentally limited. For example, this guy has no emotion. Very cold, yeah, no motivation. And the emotion do not come from nowhere. It has their own roots in our brain. It's the reward and the punishment. That's a very important elements in our history. For example, they help us find the food, uh, avoid the predator, predators, and find the mates. We know fairly little about the place for the emotion happens in our brain. And you know, where's the front part? That's the front part of our brain. And the current neural network only mimics a very elementary part of sensory emotion, it's like a visual venture streams down there. Fortunately, with the advance of our technology, modern technology, now we have a very rich tool to assess the whole brain works, how the whole brain works. So we can have a huge data from genetics to the environment we live in. And uh, uh, also current artificial intelligence and mathematics can help us to make sense of this huge and big data. Uh, using the big data and the Artificial intelligence we developed, uh, we can have a much better understanding of uh, your emotion. For example, we found out uh, one of the roots of depression is the unbalance of your emotion, punishment and reward. You have a too sensitive to punishment, much less sensitive to your reward. By knowing that, so we can target the area of the emotion. We can rebalance the reward and the punishment using like transcranial magnetic stimulations for the treatment of the depression. And the clinical outcome actually is very encouraging. We know for general depression, we can have a reach more than 50% symptom reduction using TMS. So non-responders, we can reach more than 30% symptom reductions. Using our approach, we can provide uh, uh, potential solutions more for many other challenging problems as well, like a sleeping disorder here and uh, substance abuse. And uh, we can predict your happiness, for example, <coughs> using it and uh, your creat creativity. From our findings, we will gradually get a much understanding of your emotion, your decision, your attention, the blank part, the big part of your brain, important part of your brain and gradually integrate them into our artificial intelligence system to build a full brain of our humans, for example. So that uh, aligns very well with our research philosophy. It's uh, brain-inspired intelligence should lead the research of artificial intelligence. Only in this way, we can make a, a much better artificial intelligence. So, so that's what we call the AB brain project. A is artificial brain, B is biological brain. We learn from biological brain to develop our artificial intelligence and using our artificial cutting edge artificial, artificial intelligence techno technology to understand the, our brain. Our research is actually very well supported by Shanghai municipal government uh, with a funding of 840 million RMB. And uh, the aim of this project is uh, to develop uh, the intelligent uh, medicine intelligent robotics and intelligent decision system. Thanks to all our colleagues from our Institute of Science and Technology for brain-inspired artificial intelligence. It's brain-inspired artificial intelligence. Yeah. And for all our colleagues from Shanghai, from Fudan University, and from China, and from actually from all the people all around the world working with us together. So my main point is AI is great but we need a brain science, okay? <laughs>